Hello beautiful people. Welcome back. My name is Sarah. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you here. I am starting another weekly vlog. It is Monday, August 9th. I have an insane week ahead of me. It's already 2 o'clock. I've been working all morning editing a vlog that you have already seen. And whew, I am feeling it. I am leaving for Toronto on Friday. I fly out of Vancouver, so I have to go over on Thursday evening at some point. And I have not packed. I have a bunch of projects due this week, and so it is just all piling up at once, and I'm feeling very overwhelmed. But I'm gonna take a quick break. I just finished like the rough edit of the video. I typically, when I'm editing, do like a rough edit which is just getting all the clips I want, getting them all shaved down, whatever, and then I go back in with like music and graphics and all that sort of stuff after. So I'm gonna go get lunch. I haven't bought groceries for a long time because obviously I'm leaving, I didn't want anything to go bad, so I've been kind of bad in eating out a lot or just like going to the grocery store for individual meals. So for some reason, all I'm craving right now is carrots and ranch. So I'm gonna go get that and like maybe a box of Annie's or something. I have noticed I don't really have too much of an appetite when I'm stressed and so I've been eating pretty poorly for the past couple of days. Any users, welcome. I love you. Let's let's do this week. Let's get it done. Hopefully I don't fall apart by the end of it. <laughs> okay, I just got back from the store and I wanted to show you my I'm stressed, don't know what I feel like eating grocery haul because I feel like this is a really realistic view into how I would eat during this time. I mean, it legitimately is. I feel like on the internet, it's so hard to not think that like everyone is eating super well and like salads and smoothies and blah, blah, blah. So first thing I got is a box of Annie's. I got my baby carrots, a really big bag because that's all they had. And then for some reason, I couldn't figure out if I wanted dill dip or ranch. So... I got both, which is, I don't know, these are obviously not good for you, but whatever. And then I'm thinking dinner options, <laughs> pierogies, and I got a little thing of sour cream because I like to eat sour cream with my pierogies, and that's all I got because I'm stressed and I don't know what to eat. <laughs> so back to work. <laughs> Thursday, but I just needed to do this on the way there. 
My dad is always so unrealistic with how much stuff I'm gonna have. I'm like, we're going for 10 days. I don't think a carry-on is gonna work, so he's coming to the rescue with another bag. I also am getting a lot of stuff shipped to Toronto for while I'm there because I need to work obviously while I'm there. So I'm a little stressed and I hope Randy understands, but your girl wants to look cute when I'm there. And so I've like really, I've tried everything on to make sure it's really stuff I want to bring because I tend to overpack. So I made sure that every outfit like I felt good in and then I was going to feel comfy wearing all the time and blah, 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 blah. So, Let's get packing. First thing I have is this um, carbon dress. It's really cute. I know that there will be a couple nights that we go out for like nice-ish dinner or even just like have dinner parties at my aunt and uncle's house. So I wanted to pack a few little dresses and dresses are easy. I'm also packing this 07 days dress I've had for a couple of years. It's just really cute and easy and I figure I could do this for daytime and nighttime. Again, these are super easy to roll up and pack. I'm bringing this knit to wear with that 07 days dress. That is gonna be packed later. I always like to keep like heavy bulky things to the end to pack. I know that seems weird, but yeah. Next, I have this little tube top from 07 days. Again, it's easy, you can wear it with multiple things. I think it's supposed to be pretty hot while we're there. I mean, it's definitely gonna be humid, that's for sure. I have a pair of shorts. Pretty self-explanatory. Again, something I can wear with multiple different tops. I have this Aritzia top that I bought last year, I think. I haven't worn it much, but it looks really cute over those shorts. And it's just like pretty, but like comfy and easy. That's a good one. And for those of you who are nervous about all my things getting wrinkled, I really don't care about wrinkled clothes. I wish I cared more about having wrinkled clothes, but I really don't. <laughs> Next outfit, I have these Donnie bubble pants. They just released these like maybe a month ago with a denim top. I think this is really cute. I hope it's not too hot. Maybe it's like an evening thing. I really like these sorts of pants. Again, super easy to style. I'm already feeling like this is not gonna be, like I'm just not gonna have enough room for things. <laughs> All right, next outfit is just a pair of white, um, like just cargo pants. These are from Everlane. And then to put with it, this pair of Purdue shirt, you guys have seen me wear so many times. I love it. And I'll probably end up wearing this little t-shirt with multiple different things that I'm packing. But these, I love white pants and I figure, again, easy to style with other stuff. Okay, next outfit is this little hair of the label bra top with these Bombwares little flowy pants and then the thrifted um, white button down that I showed y'all in my last vlog. It's just really cute and really easy. I have one white, like plain white tank. This one's from LNA Clothing. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. <laughs> And then I'm bringing this skirt that I just recently thrifted because I think it would look cute with that parody Purdue top over top of it. So I think that's cute. And then last dress I'm bringing, actually I might also bring this Aritzia dress I'll grab in a second that I wore for my birthday just because again, it's just really easy. But then I'm also bringing this La Causa little mini dress. I have a pair of jeans. I still need to fit in here my sweatpants. I always travel with sweatpants and a hoodie. I just feel like we probably will be lounging around the house a lot too, so I wanna have those. One pair of hokas. I just feel like I can't. I, I did actually just get these hokas too, which are so cute. But I feel as though these are just perfect for every, every day. Pair of Converse because again they work with everything. My Birkenstocks for a sandal. And then for nighttime, I have these Zara heels that I got so many years ago and I still love them and they're super comfy and have just a tiny heel for if we go out or anything. And then I have just my like leather tote, my baggy leather tote is my like plain bag. I always use that when I'm on the plane. And then I'll bring this Cozy Numbers bag for when we go for dinner or just like little things. And then I'm gonna bring my Cause um, 
shoulder bag is like my day-to-day -day bag. I wanted to just bring this but I think as far, like I always want to bring my film camera or like a water bottle or whatever and I feel like this is just a little bit more spacious and I don't love the way my bagu tote looks with every outfit. So I'm going to bring a third purse which maybe is crazy, I don't know. It's either this or my Opel Creative one that is also like that like saddlebag size or shape. But yeah. I usually like to, I didn't used to always used to do this, like plan out outfits, but I do find it to be super helpful because I am just like can't really visualize what I want to be wearing unless I actually try everything on and make sure I like the way it looks because I hate getting somewhere and then like thinking it's going to look good and it doesn't and blah blah blah. So I'm going to finish up packing, cleaning my apartment. <laughs> This is why I have not been vlogging and it's not even anything serious. I am just insanely emotional recently. I have no idea why. I think I am really overwhelmed. I am like on the come down of a really great trip, spending time with my family. And I feel like everything is just all over the place. I think as we get older and we grow up and our opinions start to change or, you know, our mindset starts to change, our outlook starts to change and not everyone in your life changes with you and like their mindset doesn't change. And so it becomes kind of isolating when you want to share certain aspects of your life or feelings you're having and and some like the closest people in your life aren't super receptive to it or are you know somewhat judgmental about it and it just feels really isolating i just am feeling a little bit drained and want to be like completely real with y'all about what my life looks like um but i really was hoping to as soon as i got back i got back from toronto on monday and had to stay the night in Vancouver because my flight came in really late and then came back on Tuesday and I haven't even slept in my own bed, <laughs> it's Sunday. I've just been doing lots of stuff. Anyways, I haven't had a good cry in a long time so I think this was well overdue, but uh, it's like 2.30. I haven't really been doing a lot today, kind of just like sitting with my feelings. I didn't want this to be like the first clip coming back after you guys just saw me like packing for Toronto and you know I was like really excited and happy and now here I am but but I just wanted to say I'm back. I'm going to keep vlogging. I'm so sorry. I haven't had a video up in a long time. Uh, I have been so busy and um, I'm gonna save you all the semantics. We're just gonna get right into the, the weekly vlog. It's August 29th, which is crazy. And um, yeah, having a bit of a emotion day, but it's all good. I'm gonna get through it. Hello, I'm back. It is Monday, feeling somewhat better today. Still kind of all over the place. It's three o'clock and I'm just about to meet up with Sarah. I'm conversing with her right now. And I guess summer is over. It's 16 degrees. It's like windy and cold. Like not that 16 degrees is like necessarily super cold, but it's not warm by any means. So I'm gonna wear a toque because um, I can. So. I just spent the morning working, cleaning my apartment. Like I said yesterday, I have not been in my place for a long time. And I feel like I'm kind of just feeling icky because I haven't been in like a routine and a groove of things and I'm trying to get back to that now. So that's what I did today. I cleaned up, I also refolded all my clothes, which is something I like to do soon. I wasn't really going through my clothes, I was just refolding them 
to make sure they'd fit in my drawers a little bit better because whenever that gets messed up, I feel messed up in here. So yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with Sarah for a bit because she's in town and then probably come home and read. I've been really trying to take some time to read. I feel like I need to keep my brain sharp. It is becoming unsharpened from all these years out of university where I was being more rigorous with my learning. Anyways, we're gonna go walk to the Drake. It's only three, but we're gonna go have a beer and some snacks and just hang out and get cozy in the Drake. If you're from Victoria, this is like my favorite, or if you live in Victoria, if you're visiting, the Drake's like my favorite place to go when it's kind of stormy and yucky outside. I mean, it's beautiful in the summer too, but it's definitely by no means the best patio. So in the winter time, it's like really cozy and you can get a beer and a pretzel and it's just like, oh, I don't care what none of y'all say. I'm ready for the fall vibes. I know I will regret saying that in a week, but uh, yeah. Thank you all for being so amazing. I seriously, oh, and look at that, the sun came out. You serious? <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna lose the toque. All right. Peace and love.